Good morning, everybody. It is Memorial Day morning. And I just decided, like mid eyebrows, that we would vlog today. Just to check in with you guys, say hey. The garden's in, so we'll have this one talk a little bit about that. Right. Yeah. Yes. Um, and here, I'll let you say hello. Hello. <laughs> what you got going on there with your phone? Oh, I'm just checking some updates. Oh, right. Sporting updates or. You don't need to know. Oh. <laughs> Business. I know. This is business. Um, so anyway, I just thought I feel, I probably look really mean right now because I literally was mid eyebrow and I was like, you know what? Let's vlog. Anyway, so um, he's got wearing, a deer in the garden. He's yeah, he had deer in the garden and um, he's gonna put up a fence. So there's some things we want to check in with you guys. And I'm so sorry. I did Snapchat it. Um, the lilacs this year were amazing. Were they not? Yep. They were amazing. But um, they are now gone, and I forgot to vlog. No, that's not true. That that's not correct wording. And forget to vlog. It just was. We've just been on a little bit of break. We're just gonna put up vlogs when we put up vlogs, and that's when we're gonna do it. So we are camping in a couple of weeks. So there'll probably be a little bit of a vlog from that. But not sure. <laughs> we're, apparently, we're not sure. So anyway, I just thought I would do a little a little bit of a start to the vlog, a little check in, and I am going to uh, go finish my makeup. There's a gal coming over to interview me, and I, I know her um, a little bit, but she is going to be writing her dissertation for her PhD on kind of the effects. I may ask her to explain it when she's here, if she's comfortable with that, on the effects of like social media on the beauty world and that sort of thing, and she's using me as her little subject. So that's really neat. She's gonna be kind of working on it for the next six months, and today is sort of the initial interview. So, having said all of that, I'm going to go finish putting my makeup on and dry my hair, and I'll check back. All right, so it is 9.45. Bob has been amusing himself out in the uh, garden there. Actually, here, I'll show you guys. He's so stiff and cute, I can barely stand it. Look at him, Farmer Bob. <laughs> so, I wanted to um, quickly introduce you guys to... Um, Kelsey, who I have known for a few years now. Here she is. Hello. <laughs> actually, we'll go this way because probably the light is, is from behind. So um, I'm actually going to let you, I'll turn the camera on you, and I'll let her explain exactly what she's doing. We've been talking for a couple hours now about um, her dissertation for her PhD. Am I saying that right? Yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to let her tell you what she's doing because it's really exciting and I'm really honored to be part of it. So I'll let her go. Well, uh, like Kristen <laughs> said, my name is Kelsey and I'm very honored that she agreed to be my case study for my dissertation. I am a PhD student at the Ohio State University. The Ohio State. It, it is. They take, they take that very seriously. They do. They do. They do. And actually, there's a history about that that really? is not as pretentious as you would think. That oh. I'll tell you about later about how okay. I that. We'll Although, report back. <laughs> I live um, full-time in Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, with my husband. Um, I'm fortunate that I can write my dissertation from there. Um, I was born and raised, though, in Shano, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. where Kristen is. And I am writing my PhD on beauty vlogs. Not a lot of academic have studied them and I'm fortunate that I um, knew Kristen that we were acquaintances and that she agreed to participate in it and the angle from which I am studying beauty vlogs is how they are instructional texts um, kind of like Bob Ross used to teach people how to do painting only these are instructional texts that are so popular millions and millions of people watch these um, instructional texts that are popular and that they teach people how to create looks on their face um, so it's like a brand new canvas every single day yep. and I'm fortunate enough to be able to um, look at how Kristen does it to then learn about beauty vlogs as a whole sort of the blogosphere so I will be writing throughout the this upcoming year particularly our research will take place in October and November when I will study and interview Kristen so <laughs> stay tuned for that's us. right you'll see her again uh-huh so yeah, so we've just been kind of talking about what this is all going to entail over the next year. She's going to get her, her dissertation done in a year, mm -hmm. which is that, okay. Which apparently is not normally. Normally, it takes a couple of years, right? That's what you're telling me. It, it yeah. Depending on what they're doing, you know, what's happening. So I'm laser yeah. focused. That, <laughs> that she is very type A. This one, mm -hmm. we get along well that way. Yes, no, it's wonderful. So yeah, I just want you guys to get to meet Kelsey, and you'll probably see her here and there, and maybe I'll have her on the beauty channel at some point too. Because I like makeup, but I'm not very good at it, so I have a lot to learn. I'm like the perfect student for it. But she doesn't need it. I mean, she's a natural oh, beauty. God. Okay. Very true, very true. All right, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Bye, guys. So I'm going to go out and get um, Bob's going to do a little garden update for you guys. Um, 
Can we discuss these lashes though? I just don't know, you guys. They feel like they're a little much for me. The House of Lashes, the something noir light. I don't know, I'll list them below. Um, but whew, they just seem like they're a little much. I feel like here come my lashes. And then I'm like five minutes behind them. <laughs> anyway, so how cool is that that she's gonna do her dissertation on like beauty and the effects and that I get to be her case study and I just think it's really, really cool. So I'm excited about that. And that'll be happening, like I think she said, over the next kind of year or whatever. And then um, like she might take bits and pieces of it because the dissertation, I guess, is like 500 pages. But she might take like bits and pieces and um, publish articles and that sort of thing. So I really think that's cool. It's a beautiful day out here, by the way. Mid 70s. The humidity seems to have gone away a little bit. Not as humid. Look at this one hard at work. Always. Always. So this is what we're doing this year for the tomatoes. This is how my dad does it, right? Yep. Is that the one the deer ate? Yep. Oh boy. That's not good. He's going to do a fence or something. But so the steaks, my dad has always done this and then they grow up and then the tomatoes don't sit on the ground, right? That's the whole point. All right, game. what do you got going here? Well, everything is planted. Most of the stuff is up. I'm still waiting for the oh, yeah. potatoes in that corner there. Over here. And then the carrots. So, <laughs> um, what I did today was I just, since we had a lot, enough rain, I decided to go ahead and fill up in between the rows of everything that's up. And then I can put my hay down in between. Mm -hmm. um, that's what he's and I had a little there. extra left, so I'm deciding to put a little bit more around the tomatoes and the peppers. Yeah, these are peppers here? About a half a bale for this area here once the carrots. These are the peppers here, right? Yes. Oops. two jalapenos over there. Oh, yes. And these are all the tomatoes. And then be beans? beans? Yep. Beans here. Two rows of beans? Yep. And then these are the snap peas? Yep. And then is this corn? Yep. We're trying corn again, people. We're trying corn again. We'll see. This time you... is in there along at the end of the pea roll. Down there. What are those two stand-up things there? Those are the jalapeno peppers. Oh, those are the jalapenos. And the watermelon's on the other side of that in that corner. Nice. I got a pumpkin plant and a uh, cantaloupe plant here and then three cucumber plants over there. So even though we are going to be vlogging as much as normal, we thought we would vlog here and there throughout the summer because so many of you guys really enjoy the garden updates. And so these are, what is this emptiness here? This is the, the emptiness is the carrots. That's the carrots. The green this is onion, more the corn. And white onions are coming up already. And then this is more corn here, right? Yep. Yep. Actually, we got our owls back roll. out here. And oh, got lettuce and spinach growing. Oh yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to know. So all along here is lettuce and spinach. What are the little white dot thingies? That's nitrogen. That's the nitrogen. We need that in our soil, right? Yep. Because our soil is sandy and whatnot. Is that why? Yep. Excellent. Well, that and it's never, other than weeds, there's nothing ever grown here. For who knows how long. Yeah, there's never, nothing has been so, grown out here, that's for sure. Well, it definitely needs the fertilizer. And they don't have anything in this? Yeah, it's something planted in there. Oh, for real? Yep. I see weeds. Yeah, a lot of weeds. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, I'm sure, I'm assuming soybean. I can go take a look. Could be. Farmer Bob. For those of you that may or may not know, I mean, who isn't in a sweatshirt, yoga pants, and lashes in their backyard? I was trying them out. Um, Bob grew up on a farm. Yeah. Didn't you? Beans. Beans? If you, look, if you look closely enough, you can see the rows. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. All I see is the weeds. <laughs> but, yeah, you can see the... The rolls here. This is just behind our house. Eventually. So yeah. Yeah, I put the hay down because that serves as two purposes. Number one, it'll help keep the weeds down. Right. So you know, a couple hours worth of work once the stuff is up is going to save you a lot of hours worth of work later on, hopefully. And then the second reason is it helps keep the moisture in the garden too. Yep. Which we, we just, really need here. Right now it's been dry. Well, no, the last week has been really wet. No, but so far the spring has been dry. Yeah. Aside from the last week is what I meant. But yes, we are starting to finally get some rain. But yeah. 
So, we'll have, we'll have him, uh, I'll go back inside. I have to fill my empties today. He's got to finish this. We had to replace some plants in the landscaping. So Bobby handled that, didn't you? Nope. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm going to cut the field today. I cut right. the field because I didn't fertilize that. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Um, he's been doing some fishing as well. I'll have him talk to you guys about that later. He's got a big fishing trip planned coming up. I think he mentioned that in um, our Try Treats video that we had up. I, have, I need to get another one of those filmed. Um, I have another box, um, but I'm not sure who to do that with. Maybe I'll just do it with Bobby again. Anywho, so yeah, I'm gonna go film and uh, we'll check back in. Also, before I forget, um, for the, if any of you guys watch this channel and don't watch my beauty channel, then you don't know, but yes, I cut my hair. Oh, I have a fly on me, like a really big fly. Um, so I chopped my hair, it's been about a week now, and I'm really liking it. I wasn't sure at first, but um, I am really liking it. And I've gotten a lot of really sweet compliments um, from you guys on my beauty channel and my Instagram and stuff, so I, I am really enjoying it. It just takes a little getting used to when you're here. I think, I wanna say I got about eight inches cut off of it, something like that, at the very, highest part but yeah all right i'm gonna go film i'll talk to you guys later all right <clears throat> so i'm filmed i feel my empties about just about 11 o'clock i need to start my laundry i'm a day late because normally i do that on sunday um but we were we had stuff going on and yesterday was today's actually my dad's birthday and if you're watching this after the fact happy memorial day i, I realize that it's no longer that day but happy memorial day to you if you are in the states um so t my dad's birthday is actually on the 30th, which he always says the real Memorial Day, because back in the day they used to not actually celebrate it just on a Monday. Um, they used to celebrate it always on the 30th of May. Um, also my friend Cherie's birthday. Anyway, so they are going far, far away to do this thing called the high ground. Um, so that's why we had dinner last night. If you watch my Snapchat, you probably saw... I just did a few um, pictures and videos of the kids and stuff. So that's why I didn't do my laundry. <laughs> Well, full on normal Kristen ramble. I don't know what I'm talking about. It takes me a little while to come back around. I should have my water. So today I'm doing laundry and cutting up vegetables and you know, the same boring things that I always do. And I need to make, I'm gonna make a rhubarb dessert. A friend of mine gave us some rhubarb and too much for what we need. So I'm gonna make a rhubarb dessert for Bob to take into work. And what else? Oh, I need to, I had a couple of friends that wanted to see some of my favorite Stella and Dot pieces, so I need to take some pictures of those and get them to them. I am, by the way, while I'm talking about it, I am doing a Stella and Dot trunk show for my friend Nelly. You guys know I always do one this time of year. So somebody wanted to see um, a couple of the newer th newer pieces that I bought. I've, I've bought, I don't know, what did I buy lately? Three necklaces, five, four or five pairs of earrings, that sort of thing. I, you know, if a friend's having a trunk show, you know I am buying something because... I like to be supportive and I really like their stuff. Anyway, so I need to take a few pictures of some of those pieces later and send those off to a friend. And yeah, barbecue chicken for dinner, not really all that exciting. I kind of want to take these lashes off because I feel like they're just like, I'm curious what you guys think. I mean, obviously these are not lashes I would normally wear while I'm just hanging out at home doing stuff, but I was playing with them. I wanted to see how I could get them to apply because I had tried them one time before. When I looked, they're the Noir Fairy, Fairy Noir. I looked and I already forgot, but I'll list it. Um, I, so I like to play with lashes a little bit before I'm going to use them for some purpose. You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to get at it and hopefully I'll have something a little more exciting to show you later. I didn't show you because I'm out of practice. Um, I made a tuna salad for us to have tomorrow because one of my little church cuties, um, she plays soccer and her games are sometimes Tuesdays and Thursdays, sometimes just Tuesdays, but anyway. She has a game tomorrow. They don't start till 7. So I come home and we just have a quick dinner that I try to have prepared beforehand. And then I head back into town and watch her game. So um, we are going to, that's where I'm going to tell tomorrow tonight. We're having barbecue chicken on the grill. Bob is making that. I'm currently eating my leftovers from last night. Just the house salad from the pizza place in town. It's so good. They have little baby mozzarella balls and um, sun-dried tomatoes and chicken and you know other normal salad -y things like well I had tomatoes but Maggie ate them all <laughs> you could probably throw some more in there but anyway um 
Now I'm going to make the rhubarb dessert. I'm watching Lisa SEO9's vlog. You know, that's that's what's going down. But I'm feeling relatively... Oh, I got the vegetables cut for the week already. So, yeah. On to rhubarb dessert. I thought I would show you. This is what the rhubarb dessert um, looks like before it gets all baked. And then it will all, like, bake down in there. But look at my recipe, you guys. I can barely read it anymore because I've shirped on it so much. This is why... I, I don't know. I just... But I, that shows that it's a good recipe, right? Um... Anyway, so that's what it looks like. I'm currently watching. Not that you can see here. Look, it's Kristen, three, two, one, And um, uploading footage from what I filmed earlier today. Doing laundry. You know, the huge. Um, the huge. Because I'm cool. I'm going to put this in the oven. So I'm making that. I can't remember if I said it. I'm making that for Bob to take to work to the girls in the office. And uh, so I have some of those disposable pans. Um... I don't know if you saw that that's what I had it in. So, little tip, I always go lower on the, um, like if it says 50 to 60 minutes, I for sure go 50 minutes. If I'm going to do, that's kind of sort of a pan because I feel like it just cooks a little bit more quickly because the pan is so thin, I could be crazy. That could just be a crazy Kristen thing, but I, that's what I feel like. And if you guys are curious, I do have a video on that recipe. I did that long ago, but I'll link that below for you. I also nailed down the details on a new video I'm going to be doing. Filmed last week in June for upload early July um, with Emily, and I'm really excited about it. It's an, it's an idea from David. And David, in case you guys don't know, he's a friend of ours. He's become friends with both Emily and I. And... He came up, or the, he was the one that came up with the electric challenge. If you guys remember when Emily and I did that, um, so this is a new idea that came from him. We're both really excited about it. It's a surprise, though. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, so anyway, we nailed down when we're going to do that via text message, of course. There's something else I didn't tell you guys. Oh, I have to go pull. Now I'm going to wash these dishes first, and then I'm going to go pull the the Stella and dot pieces that I'm sending to pictures to a friend of mine. I'll show you the ones that I'm pulling. All right, so the lighting in here is not very good, but you guys, <laughs> so these are the earrings that I pulled for this. She wanted some suggestions, so I just pulled some of the ones that I'm wearing a lot. So the Rebel ones, you guys know I wear those all the time. I have them gold and silver. These ones, I can't remember what these are called, but I think they were new for spring or new for summer. And then these ones, I think, are called the Reverie earrings. You guys have seen me wear those in videos over and over and over again. So, like, I, I picked those out as, like, my top three favorite for earrings. And then I'll show you what I sent her for pictures for of necklaces. All right. So I'm trying to find a good way to show you in better lighting against this pillow. So this is, I, I don't remember what this is called. <laughs> I never remember the names of their things, but I just love these because there's three necklaces. So you can have it as one necklace. You can wear each of them individually. You can wear each of them paired you know, like just two of them. You can wear all three of them. I just think it's genius. So this is the one, and I have this one where this stone is like clear as well. The stone right here is clear as well, and then the chain is gold, if I remember right. And then um, apparently, I love these necklaces, these layering ones. It's really long, and you can do it like three times, or you know, like once or whatever. But they're really, really long. Um, but I can't remember now which it is. They either only have it in silver or only in gold currently, and I'm, I can't remember which it is. But um, yeah, so it's, this is the Devon, I think. This one is new for. I think it was new. I, I honestly, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that because I don't really know. But I love this. I love this by itself. I love this one. It's kind of, um, it's flat, more flat, and this has then a little bit more dimension to it. I just, I think this is beautiful. I love this one. Um, so this one I just bought recently. I can't remember. I think I bought this from a party Lisa had. And then this one I just bought from a party my friend Tika had. And this is really cute too. It has a shorter necklace as part of it. And then these two pieces hang down like that on either side. Not sure. <laughs> Uh, if you can see this or not, but so they hang like that. And so what I what I do when I wear it is that I tie these. I just kind of loop these this over each other, like a what what in my day we would have called the first knot, like that, and then let them hang down, and then. And so then it looks like that. 
That's really cute. Like with a um, with like a white t-shirt and a black blazer, or I wore it with um, I was wearing a white t-shirt, jean jacket, and a chevron striped maxi skirt. That was really cute. It just gives a little pop of color, and then I wore that same color lipstick. It was fun. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I had pulled for her because I thought you guys might want to see. I don't know. Um, and I'm doing the same thing, by the way, that I did, I've done in the past is if you place an order that your name goes in and, and, um, I'm giving away $150 of the credit that would be earned from the show and you'll get to pick out whatever pieces you want. So, all right, I'm going to put these away and then go see if the dessert is done. So that is what it looks like when it's all done. And I ended up doing 55 minutes. I think the recipe says 50 to 60 minutes. I did 55 minutes. Um, just because I wanted this to get a little browner. Two, there you have it. It is 20 after 1. And one of those feelings where I'm like, geez, where did the day go? I didn't get anything done. Um, I need to go do a little bit of cleaning. I, have, I, I bought these new, I'll show you guys actually. I bought um, some new storage binny sort of things for the closet um, from TJ Maxx. And they didn't have as many as I wanted. I have, okay, so let me just show you. I have these ones already here. And I have these ones. And then I have two like that. And it drives me crazy, I know, that they don't all match. So they don't necessarily need to match, but I just feel like, you know, it's a better use of space when you can do those things. And I want to get some tags. I'm going to look on Amazon and see if I can find some tags. Some tags, um... The chalk tags you can write on on Amazon so that I can label these. But so this is what the other ones that I found at TJ Maxx look like. I think these were only ten dollars a piece. Uh, and so I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Yes, six of them. And so I want to reorganize a little bit and just kind of label some things uh, up there. But I just haven't taken the time to do it, which is not like me. But I don't know. Sometimes I'm not super productive. So I need to do that, but I think I may do that next weekend. I have a, a memorial service funeral to go to next weekend on Saturday. So I won't have the whole day like I thought I would, but I think that I'll be able to work on that a little bit next weekend. I'm kind of, I want to go hang out with Bob a little bit, see what we're going to do the rest of the day. It's nice. I'd like to go outside and go for a walk. So it's nice, not too hot. I'm hanging out my earrings. Actually, I took the pictures and sent it to my friend. So I'm not hanging my earrings back up. I need to go through my jewelry as well. Just, you know, like I'm spring cleaning, even though spring has pretty much passed. Really what I need to do is take these lashes off. <laughs> Ay. <All> right. <clears throat> Bobby is doing barbecue chicken on the grill. Oh, you know what? It's not out here anymore. It's on the deck now. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Summer, it's on the deck. So he's grilling them up. He always boils them first in a bunch of spices on the stove, and then he puts them on with the sauce. Much yeah. Much better if you. Here. I mean, you can barbecue them right from the start. You know, put them on the grill and cook them, but. But we feel like they get dry yeah, that they way. They get dry, and you want to make sure they're cooked. Right. It's poultry. It's got to be safe with chicken. So how's the fishing season so far, game? Well, you know, yesterday. Not yesterday, Saturday, right? Yep. Yeah. So we were out with the boat Saturday. We had a good day Saturday. We caught about 20 fish between Ben and I. Nothing spectacular or big, but still action. Uh, prior to that, I just I didn't do anything but trout fish. Um, opening weekend was later this year. Um, it was practically the second weekend of May. And then we had some... So we went trout fishing. Opening weekend was pretty nice. Ben and I went trout fishing. We caught some fish and brought them home. Felt. And then uh, the weather got miserable the next week, and then the next week it was so nice, so I got a lot of work done around the house, and then I did end up going trout fishing with uh, Malpy that Saturday. And uh, I got, I didn't catch anything. He had two nice, nice trout he caught. He took him to yeah. his stepdad, Gary. Because Gary smokes them, right? No, he, no not just... trout, he won't. Oh. Um. And then we went outside, yeah. So I've only been out three times, but I guess but it's, it's been, been a good pretty this decent year, year yeah, so far, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I thought I'd let you do a little check and I was gonna show you guys the hanging bath since we got this here. The place we always go um, closed down, which is really sad. So we, I went just to our local True Value and got these. I like these little ones here with the purple. So this one just has two and then it also has these in here. I don't know what those are. But um, so far so good with these ones. And then this one is similar except the little flowers. These ones are solid yellow. And then these little flowers are kind of that periwinkle color. So one of the things we had to do is replace... Oof, there's some weeds in that. <laughs> replace some of the perennials. Right? Perennials? That's what they're called? Yes. This is one of the ones we replaced today. This is what it'll look like. We usually... You want me to pull these out, don't you? The the tags? Yeah, you can. They're all right here. Right. One there, one there, and one on the corner. So I thought that would be pretty. Add some color back here. We have some black-eyed Susans that you can't see. And then I can't remember what the other, oh, the other one is called. Is called, but... So, yeah, so we had some, we always lose some over the winter. Just the way it goes, right? Yep. Well, actually, I don't think we lost any this year. Yeah, we lost them last year. Last year, yeah, we just never replaced them. Yep. We were hoping, we kind of were hoping they would come back. But they did not. I'll show you the one, oh, here's the other one. I'll show you the one out front. But we got some weeds in this business, huh? Yeah, I don't know if they're weeds or something else. I just had to pull some weeds because they're driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. So, um, I wish I could have shown you the Ilex. Sorry, you guys. I already washed my face, by the way, in case you can't tell. Um, trying a different moisturizer. Do not appreciate it. The irises are up and blooming. These are a really pretty one. These ones are all purple. I know some of you guys really appreciate this. You like to see it, so that's why I'm showing you. These are the day lilies. Bob's been watering, which is why the hose is all over. So, this actually is the new one, believe it or not. This is the one that we put in a couple years ago. And this one had died, and we thought we would wait to see if it came back this year, and it did not, so we just replaced that. But, and that's, um, I always say it wrong. Looks like Wigalia or something, but... It's a black cherry or black, I don't know. I just picked it out, made sure it matched the other one. <laughs> That's my job. And the burning bush made it through the winter, which is one of my favorites. And these pastas are getting so big, they're gonna have to be split again probably. Focus, thank you. This is another one of those galias. Let's just pull this out, shall we? A little weeding action. So yeah. So tell them what we put out over here, honey. Where? The trees. Those are honey crisp apple trees. Um. Those. Those four are all new, right? Yep, all new. All the other ones died. Well, the one wasn't quite dead, but didn't have anything to cross pollinate with, right? Or was the it dead? Died. The one that was there died. The one that had all the apples on it the yep. one year? Oh, yep. geez. It's laying over there in the pile. I got and, <laughs> and then those are the raspberry blueberry bushes. But get ready for this, folks. The ones from Fleet Farm are crap. Well, there's two of them are coming. Now, I see one rose and the... Actually, Actually, the two roses and the one blueberry are coming. I oh, see leaves well, there on you go. Them. So I sprayed them this morning. So you have better thoughts than you did just mere hours ago. Well, I don't know. It's still, the jury's still out. Jury's still out. So, we there you go, you guys. See. I hope We hope that you guys are doing well and having a good start to your summer. We're camping the in the- The bird must have moved her nest. Oh, really? Yeah, because otherwise she'd be after us right now. Yeah, there was a nest you said out here with this. Somewhere. What kind of bird? Was, I think it was right in that a little starling, bush there. A starling, you thought? I oh, in this bush? Starling, yeah. she, he was said, said she was not bush amused. Right there, or underneath the corner, you know, like underneath the deck here or something. Yeah. When I come out here last night, she was sitting right at that, right on the bush on the ground there. That's where she was sitting. Yelling at you. 
She wasn't yelling. She let me go by. Oh. Once she discovered, because instead of walking up these steps, I walked around the front steps. And uh, all of a sudden, she must have noticed me, and then she went crazy. <laughs> but she's not here. And yesterday, when I come up here to water the flowers, I mean, I walked up these steps, and she came between me and the flowers. As if That's she was going to stop you? Yeah. Hmm. That's how close she came. And last night, I don't know if you guys saw on my Snapchat, the um, snapping turtles are starting to come up from the river, and they'll come across and lay their eggs. So we saw one. I got Snapchat a little well, bit of that. Stay out of the garden. Right, as long as they stay out of the garden. So we will see you guys probably in a couple of weeks when we get back from camping. I'll, I'll take some snippets here and there, hopefully. Anything to say, game? Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day, indeed. Hope you enjoyed like your weekend. It. Yeah, we hope, and we hope you're having a really good start to your summer. And uh, get back to work. And get back to work. Anyway. I should be off all summer. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that you're having a good one, and we will talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.